Hi guys! So as we are all kind of navigating these next couple of weeks and maybe months, um, our hope is to use a little bit of this time to inspire families to either get out and work on their gardens or begin working on the home garden. So if you've always wanted to start or work on your garden, now kind of feels like a good time. Uh, we plan on making these mini five minute uh, beginning gardening tutorial videos. Uh, they're not fancy, as you can see, I'm gonna be using notes. And um, we just wanna share ideas about looking for healthy activities or habits or things that you can do with your families while you're kind of spending a lot of time at home. So um, let me see, the information comes from personal experience. I, there's no horticultural degree here, but just sharing what we've done and what we've known to work and some of our favorite things. So why do this? So gardening not only ensures that you have a healthy food source within your home or on, your, on the grounds of your home, but it's also a really good stress reliever for both children and adults. And then last, it's just something really good that you can do for our planet. And so you can grow a surprising amount of food with a small space, and that daily growth just really reminds us that life is gonna go on long after this virus is here. So, my son Charlie is helping me film and edit the videos, and he even came up with a list of the topics to discuss. And first on his list were, it says, top five fruits and vegetables to grow this time of year. And that is actually an excellent question because we're kind of in a season of transition. This Saturday is the last day of winter, and then we'll start spring and moving into our cool, or I'm sorry, our warmer season. And we'll do another video about warm versus cool if you guys like this and you'd like to see that. But as of today, March 17th, St. Patty's Day, happy St. Patrick's Day. These are the top five, but not in any order, just top five that we would recommend that you should consider starting from seed with your family. And of course, you always want to think as well about what your family likes to eat. So number one is lettuce. And really with lettuce, any variety that you would want to grow, that you enjoy eating, or maybe like an heirloom variety that you've always wanted to try. Um, the beauty of growing at home is that you can try these heirloom varieties and try something different. It's also one of those plants that continues to produce, so you just harvest around the outside and it'll continue to grow from the center. Another good thing about lettuce, as we do have a couple more months of these cooler temperatures, it's a quick seed to harvest time. So for example, this one, actually let's look at this, Jericho Romaine Lettuce. It says days to maturity 40 plus. So that means in just a little over a month, you'll be able to harvest your food. So that's number one. Number two is beans. So the idea with um, legumes or with peas and beans, peas you generally grow during the cooler season and beans you grow in the warmer season. And both of those are within the legume family. And not to get too sciencey, but um, nitrogen is something that all plants need to grow and legumes have this special ability and they make excellent companions because they can actually absorb nitri atmospheric nitrogen and they have these nodules on their roots and they can take that atmospheric nitrogen and change it to a form within the soil that is now that the plants are not able to absorb. So that's one good reason and plus beans are delicious and there's so many beautiful heirloom varieties that you could try, and some of the seeds are just incredibly cool. So that's number two. Number three, tomatoes. Do I have seeds for tomatoes in it? Cool. Um, these are the best when it comes to getting your kids to eat directly out of the garden because they're just so easy to pick and enjoy. Um, when you grow your own as well, you'll be, you'll be shocked how flavorful they are compared to the tomatoes that you can get in the store and also the varieties that you can grow. There um, is a company called Tomato Mania, and they sell seedlings, and I think they sell over 160 varieties of heirloom tomatoes, and with seeds, the possibilities really are endless. I know the San Diego Seed Company has a ton of different varieties. There are a lot of companies out there. So, um, tomatoes, that is number three. Number four are onions, and really any type, I would say that we harvest onions. I harvest onions almost on a daily basis at our house. Sometimes it will eat the bulb. Sometimes I'm just eating the leaves, but they're great to add to soups or salads and um, anything within the allium family. So we're talking about scallions, leeks, and garlics 
Are there excellent companion plants? Because they will deter some of those unwanted guests. So I know aphids don't like them, Japanese um, beetles don't like them, and then even rabbits don't like them. So you can plant them among your other plants to protect them. And number five, so herbs. And herbs, it really can depend upon your taste from um, the mint family. Uh, some of my favorites are basil, mint, thyme, uh, rosemary I use all the time. Um, another, other herbs are from the parsley family, so that's talking more about um, parsley and dill and cilantro. But um, herbs are really the fragrant leaves and the flowers of a plant that you can add for either enhanced aroma or for flavor and just a difference between herbs and spices. So herbs come from leaves and flowers, spices come from stems, roots, and seeds. So um, just an example of how I plant herbs among my other plants with basil. If you plant those with your tomatoes, they do to deter those, uh, those green hornworms or cigar worms, or um, I think they have other names as well and they also make your tomatoes taste sweeter. I'm not sure what the science is behind that, but it's the truth. So herbs, choose the herbs that you would like to incorporate and add to the food that you're eating. Those are my top five, not in any order, just top five that um, we're planting right now and that I would recommend. And this is just video number one. So since it's kind of recommended to stay indoors, I would say buy your seeds online. Um, Amazon sells a lot. Some of my favorite seeds companies are, I love Baker Creek Seeds, I love Renee's Seeds, I really love the San Diego Seed Company, and they're local to here. And that's it. So if you enjoyed this, please let us know. If you didn't, maybe don't tell us, but everybody please stay safe, stay sane, and um, stay tuned, and hopefully we'll do more of these. So sending lots of love to all of you, and I hope that we can help you get outdoors and grow.